What's up guys, Colby here with Roadside Showcase and we're here in Moab, Utah at Arches National Park, which is one of the more prolifically famous national parks our country has to offer. I'm going to be heading inside and we're going to check it out. Okay, we're going into the, uh, the visitor center here real quick just to see what they got going on in there. Arches National Park. Frost free fountain, turn handle and wait for water to dispense. Okay. Oh. 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 Look at that. Wow. Let's see how it tastes. Very sedimentary. Alrighty, well that was good. Got to refill my water, which is very important. I'm noticing, I guess, coming from the humidity in Florida to here, I'm always thirsty. Uh, picked up a, a hat in the gift shop. If you guys are longtime watchers, you know my hat obsession. Uh, so, yeah, let's go check it out. I'm excited. All right, we are inclining pretty good here. Wow. I feel like I'm on the Cars Land ride. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I had to pull over because this is just incredible up here. I'm going to get out and show you guys. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, wow. And then you pan over here and just this unbelievable view. And we're not even in the park yet. Look at that. See, we were just down there, the visitor center, way down there now. Like, way down there. So this is uh, just pulled off on like what is basically like one of the first little trails. Uh, and we're going to check it out. Wow. Just absolutely unbelievable the beauty we have just right in our backyard like this you don't really respect it until you actually just show up and take a look holy cow unreal so I don't want to spend too much time on this trail which is right down here because it connects to the main part that we're going to drive to anyways but I do just want to go down there and and get a good vantage of all this stuff because it's really cool yeah one uh, noob Florida thing I, I got the decent jacket probably could benefit from some gloves not horrible but they are a little a little raw, you know. And we were way up there. Traversed all the way down here to the ground level. Or I guess it's the ground level. <sighs> Holy cow. I started going back up. Man. I'm not that out of shape, am I? Holy! <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody warned me, you know, the altitude's gonna get to you, the dry air's gonna get to you. I feel it. So, uh, I'm gonna make this little uh, uh, electrolyte cocktail here that I was given. And hopefully, that gets me in shape because I, I can already tell I'm gonna wear myself out in this place alrighty that's gonna keep me alive right there this place is absolutely huge I've I've gone like five miles deep on this road still trying to get to the actual arch spot <laughs> so hopefully we get there eventually I I mean awesome drive very beautiful but I'm just eager to see it 
and we are not going to talk about that rock formation and and anything about that we're not going to talk about that we are going to just keep moving forward now that's something you see on postcards a lot that's the balanced rock wow so the erosion over thousands hundreds of thousands of years whittles it down into this little little bulbous part at the top and it just balances like that that's just wild that something like that can happen naturally and there we are there's an arch look at that I've been in Arches National Park for two hours and I'm just now getting around to seeing the arches <laughs> All right, so this one, uh, these two actually, are called the windows, I guess because they're kind of like windows in a house. You know, you peer through and it shows the other side. Um, so we're going to hike on over there and check them out. I think you can walk right under it. Uh, so let's see. Oh, wow. All righty, we're almost up there. I'm out of shape, guys, but what a sight. Wow. Whoa. Chilling. It's cool over here. All right, so I chilled out here. It was pretty fun. Uh, we're gonna go over to the other arch down that way and see what that has to offer. Okay, so we're just walking down over here to the next arch which is the south window arch and the turret arch. So I stand corrected, this is the turret arch and the south window I haven't even seen yet, it's somewhere down there. But let's just check this out real quick. So shout out to this really cool couple for taking a picture of me right under the turret because that's like the perfect photo op. That's like the one bad thing about solo traveling. Nobody to take your picture. Alrighty, so there is the south window. It's kind of cool how they form together like that. The thing I love about this place, like maybe the most, is just like the freedom it gives you to just walk, walk up. Like I just walked up on these rocks here to get a good view. Just like, I don't know, that's cool. Like coming from Orlando where everything's rules, you gotta do this, you gotta wait in line, get a fast pass, like just the freedom of this, really cool. Alright, now we begin the treacherous route back to the car. Okay, wow, what a lot of ground I just covered. So it's becoming pretty clear pretty fast that this is going to be a long video uh, at least for roadside showcase standards so what we're going to do is like I mentioned earlier we're going to divide it into two parts so this will be part one and next week will be part two and I'll probably end up doing that too when I go to Canyons Land National Park which is even bigger than this so yeah it just makes more sense otherwise we're going to have a 45 minute video and Nobody wants that. So anyways, guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Uh, it's good to be back, and I'm going to just keep striving to be get better and better and make as good a content for you as I can. So appreciate it again, and I'll see you next week.